How's it going everybody? This is Afro DJ Mac here and I want to show you how you can use your voice or any audio signal to modulate parameters with inside of Live's devices. Right now I'm using the kick drum to move the frequency of this high pass filter on an EQ8 and I'm also using my voice to play around with the gain of this bell curve on the EQ8 and you can hear this is affecting the sound of our pad right now. So let's go into our voice track and see what's going on. I've got a track set up to listen to my microphone. It's record enabled, but I've got it muted because I don't want to actually hear what's coming out of the microphone. I'm just using it to feed the envelope follower. Now the envelope follower is going to create an envelope based on incoming audio signals. So the louder the volume of that audio signal, the higher the envelope moves. And you can adjust the gain with this gain knob. So as I drop it down a little bit, it's not quite as drastic, but I want to a very um, pronounced effect right now. So I'm going to turn this up to about 13 or 14. Rise is just how long it takes the envelope to rise to its loudest point. It's a lot like an attack on, a, on an amplitude envelope on a synthesizer. Fall is much like a decay. This determines how long it takes the sound of the envelope to decay to zero and you can really smooth out your curves by adjusting these a little bit. I want to get a nice quick staccato sound because I like the way that's affecting the pad sound with those mid-range frequencies and you'll see it as I talk this is moving up and down up and down. Let's take a look at the kick drum. The kick drum is playing and the envelope follower is listening and creating this nice curve and I've got it mapped to the frequency. I'm just going to unmap this real quick just to show you how we do this. I click on map and from here, I can select any parameter on any of Live's devices. I'm going to go inside to this high pass filter and click on the frequency. And now every time the kick drum hits, I've got a nice little movement on my filter. So this is how you use the envelope follower. It's so cool for using any signal, any audio to create modulation on other tracks. And one of my personal favorite ways to use it is to use my voice and just modulate each time I say a word. So I hope you find this tip useful. It can open up a lot of creative possibilities. And please send along any music you make using this technique. Thanks a lot and enjoy.